Hey humans, this is Paul Acevedo of Windows Central here with a video review of the Corsair Scimitar RGB MOBA MMO gaming mouse. That's a mouthful. Let's call it the Corsair Scimitar. Before we plug it in, I'd like to mention that the USB cable is a nice braided USB cable and the end has the nice yellow custom end piece that Corsair products often have. Now we've plugged it in, it is lit up and I'm going to be using the Corsair MM600 double-sided mouse mat with this review. You can find my review of the MM600 on YouTube and WindowsCentral.com. The MM600's claim to fame is obviously the number pad on the left side of the mouse, but before we talk about that very much, I'd like to look at everything else on it. We have a scroll wheel here. It has a nice little clickiness to it as you move it up and down, and it does have a light whose color you can customize. You have sensitivity up and down buttons right here. That's a good convenient place for them. Here on the right, a nice textured rubber grip. It does make the mouse feel good to hold. I kind of wish it had some kind of texture over here on the left hand side too, but that's okay. At least there is the one on the right and it's gonna keep the mouse in place for you. This is a good ergonomic design. Here we have the light up Corsair logo. Looking at the front, we can see this cool Corsair yellow piece of plastic. Got another area of lighting right here, even though this is an area that you won't see while you're actually using it yourself. It is pretty cool that it makes a light there for if somebody is sitting across the table from you or whatever. On the bottom we also have this hex screw, and this is used to adjust the position of the number pad. It turns out that different people have different shapes of hands, and so you just never know whether this will be a convenient position for somebody or not. So Corsair has thoughtfully allowed us to slide the number pad back and forth. And once you have it in a position that you like, you can just tighten it like so. It comes with this tiny Allen screwdriver. You don't want to lose it. Unfortunately, there's no place to store it in the mouse. I kind of wish there was a place to just stick it in there if you didn't mind the extra weight. Real easy to lose this thing. So just lock it into a good position and set it away somewhere good. Now that I have it locked, it will not slide forward. It is stuck in place just like it's supposed to be. As for the number pad, you see it goes from 1 through 12, so it provides an amazing 12 buttons for your left thumb, which is going to give you a lot of options in games, especially MMOs and MOPAs, where you have a lot of different spells to cast and abilities, etc. But also this could benefit you in other more complex games as well. One thing that can help you find the column of buttons you're looking for is that one column is smooth and the next column is rigid, smooth, and ridged. So that is pretty clever. They also have a distinct curvature that can help you determine which row you're touching as well. Now one thing that I wondered when I looked at this mouse design was how would you handle things like back and forward? Normally a mouse only has two buttons on the left hand side, right? Well, the way I programmed it is for this one to be forward and this one to be back. If you wanted you could actually make the whole column forward and the whole column back. Obviously with so many buttons you are going to need to customize them You'll use the Corsair Utility Engine software to do that. It's the same software used with all of their products. And one little negative is that out of the box, none of these buttons do anything. You have to go in and manually assign functions to all of them, which is kind of silly because, I mean, they could have at least just made up some presets to give you, and then you could switch them out if you didn't like them. You can assign these any normal function. You could have them scroll up and down if you wanted. You could have them adjust the sensitivity on the mouse forward, back, any key on the keyboard. And then you can also go a lot further. You can have these things perform macros and things like that that you might do in an MMO. This really is a great mouse for that type of game. The level of control it gives you over the game all on one hand is really great. You can free up your left hand just to be controlling movement. Or maybe you have so many different tasks that you're using your left hand for movement and spells, and yet you still have even more spells over here. But that's crazy. Naturally, the Scimitar has customizable lighting. There are four different lighting zones. You have the Corsair logo on the palm rest. You have the number pad. That's all one lighting zone, so you can't have these be different colors. They're all one zone. Your mouse wheel, then the front end as well. But at least you can customize those four different areas. I've got Windows Central blue and pink here. So that's my nice Windows Central color scheme. You have four different options for colors. Besides selecting any solid color that you want or turning off the color, you can also select from three other color patterns. 
So here I've got the palm rest on rainbow. It simply cycles through the different colors of the rainbow. This is called color shift. It just switches between one color and an X. So it'll be pink one moment, then blue the next. You can choose to have it switch between a random selection of colors, or you can set up two different colors for it to switch back and forth between, and you can control the speed that it switches them as well. And finally, you have color pulse, in which it simply pulses up and down in a random color, or you can select one or two colors for it to pulse up and downward in. This is similar to the breathing effect that Razor uses. And you can have it apply the same effect to all zones, or simply set them up individually, as I've done. But you only get those three basic color patterns in addition to solid or off, so there's a bit less control over lighting than on Razor Mice, which is a little bit of a shame. A good level of control here, but not the best level of lighting control. By the way, the Scimitar is a 12,000 DPI mouse, so it has an excellent level of speed and control. Most of us do not need their mice to move that fast, but if you wanted to, you absolutely could and you toggle between those speeds with the sensitivity up and down buttons. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is that changing the sensitivity actually changes the color up here. So this color is not just locked to white. It doesn't show up on camera great, but hopefully you can see that right now it is blue for this particular sensitivity speed. You have five sensitivity stages that you can toggle between, and you can select exactly what each color is for those different stages. So you could have it, for instance, get more red the faster it is, get more yellow the slower it is, just whatever you want to do. So that is really clever. So with the scimitar you have a right-handed mouse that is quite ergonomic, feels good in your hand, and obviously most importantly you have your key slider here which can be slid back and forth and 12 different keys that you have access to. This is a really well designed product for gamers. It's obviously a little bit of overkill for normal everyday use for work, etc. However, you certainly could program different work macros. For instance, you could have one of these be control X, one of these be control V, C, etc. in order to simplify everyday tasks that you do at work. The Corsair Scimitar is not for everybody. It might be a little over complex for some people. People who just don't want or need access to that many buttons. But for anybody who plays a lot of computer games and wants more buttons available to them, then it's a godsend. So if this seems like a product you would like, I assure you it's very well engineered, it's a great mouse, it retails for $80, and it's absolutely worth it. Thanks for watching. Read our full review at windowscentral.com. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. And remember, don't hate, appreciate.